Apache Superset versus Power BI has been a real eye-opener for me since I've spent time using both tools for data visualization and business intelligence work. Both platforms have their strengths and weaknesses, and honestly, your choice really depends on what kind of user you are and what you need from your BI tool. Starting with Apache Superset, I found it to be an incredibly flexible and open source platform that's great if you want a customizable and scalable BI solution without the usual licensing fees. The interface is clean and intuitive, which made it easy for me to build dashboards and charts once I got past the initial setup. One thing I really liked about Superset was the way it handles calculated fields and complex queries. It's quite powerful and lets you dive deep into your data if you're comfortable with SQL and some data engineering concepts. The dashboards feel really responsive and the customization options gave me a lot of control over how the data is presented. On the other hand, Power BI, being a Microsoft product, has a polished feel and is super popular in the business world for a reason. Its data visualization capabilities are top notch, making it really straightforward to create visually appealing and interactive reports, even if you're not a technical expert. I like that Power BI integrates so well with the rest of the Microsoft ecosystem like Excel and Azure, which was a huge plus for me when working in a corporate environment. The support and documentation for Power BI also felt more robust compared to Superset, which sometimes felt like you had to dig into community forums or GitHub issues for help. However, Power BI can get pricey once you go beyond the free tier, especially if you want to scale it for more users or add advanced features. One interesting thing I noticed when comparing the two was around ease of use. Superset scored slightly higher for me because once set up, I found its interface pretty intuitive, especially for data analysts who are comfortable with SQL. Power BI is user-friendly too, but felt a little more guided and template-driven, which can be great if you want quick results but less freedom for deep customizations. When it comes to dashboards, I actually preferred Superset's flexibility. The dashboards felt more customizable, and I could tailor the experience exactly to what I wanted, whereas Power BI's dashboards are more polished but sometimes felt a bit rigid. In terms of data governance and security, Power BI definitely took the lead. The tools Microsoft provides for managing data security, user permissions, and compliance were much stronger than what Superset offers out of the box. This makes Power BI a safer bet for enterprises dealing with sensitive data or strict regulatory requirements. I also found Power BI's calculated fields to be good, but a bit less flexible compared to Superset which really shines if you need advanced custom calculations and transformations. Pricing-wise, Superset is obviously attractive since it's open source and free, but it comes with the trade-off of needing more technical setup and maintenance. Power BI has a free version for one user, but its real power comes with paid plans that can get expensive depending on the size of your team and your feature needs. So if budget is tight and you have the technical know-how, Superset is a strong contender. But if you want a fully supported, enterprise-ready platform with lots of integrations and polished visuals, Power BI might be worth the investment. Overall, I see Apache Superset as a fantastic tool for those who want flexibility, open source benefits, and deep control over data analytics, especially if you're comfortable with some technical work. Power BI, meanwhile, shines for organizations looking for ease of use, robust support, and seamless integration with Microsoft products. Both are powerful in their own right, so it really comes down to your specific needs, team skills, and budget.